Welcome to Top 10 Archive. From pumpkin carving competitions, indulging your candy craving, to unique costumes, Halloween is one of the most interactive holidays we celebrate every year. In this video, we will look at the top 10 intriguing facts about Halloween. Halloween. Number 10, The Mask. The 1978 horror film Halloween was on an unbelievably tight budget, even for its time. The prop department was forced to buy a $2 mask for Michael Myers at the costume store. As it turns out, this mask was a 1966 replica of the one William Shatner wore in Star Trek. They later spray painted it white and teased the hair a little to give the mask a more original feel. Today, Halloween is regarded as one of the most well-made slashers to be viewed on the big screen. Initially, Shatner didn't know the mask was in his likeness, but upon finding out years later in an interview, he has stated how honored he feels by the gesture. Beam me up, Scotty. Number 9. World's Largest Pumpkin Pennsylvania native Stephen Clark holds the record for the world's fastest pumpkin carving time at 23.03 seconds, with the previous record doubling that time. Competition rules state that the pumpkin must weigh less than 24 pounds, 11 kilograms, and that it must be carved in a traditional manner, meaning that it must have two eyes, a nose, set of ears, and a mouth all must be visible. I can't say that's too impressive. I can beat that. Just give me a knife and hold my drink. And have 911 on speed dial just in case. Speaking of pumpkins, the largest one ever grown was planted by a California man named John Hawkley in 2014. It weighed an astonishing 2,058 pounds, 933 and a half kilograms. Number 8. Traditions When talking about Halloween, the origins and traditions can become a bit tricky. Oh, no pun intended. According to most sources, the holiday started during the Iron Age, somewhere between 800 and 600 BC, in which time the Celts and Gauls ruled parts of Great Britain and northern France. October 31st marks the last day of the Celtic calendar, and they believed it brought death to life and nature, as well as the final harvest. Likewise, Gaelic people believed it was important to honor the dead in a tradition they called Samhain, or Summer's End. Throughout the years, many cultures adapted their own beliefs and made the holiday what it is today, which is literally a combination of many different traditions. It wasn't until the mid-19th century that the Irish are thought to have added trick or treating to the holiday. It is generally accepted that we traditionally wear costumes on Halloween to ward off evil spirits. Number 7. Poisoned Candy Stories of razor blades and poisonous substances being slipped into candy for unsuspecting trick-or-treaters seem to have been told for as long as the holiday itself. Sadly enough, this has been true on a number of occasions, but doesn't happen as often or the way some sources exaggerate it. The most saddening of these cases is the story of a young boy named Timothy O'Brien, he had been out trick-or-treating with his father, and upon arriving home, ate a pixie stick laced with cyanide. He died soon thereafter. It turns out that the father had a rather substantially large life insurance policy on his son, and was later convicted of Timothy's death. Sadly enough, there are a number of cases quite like this some of which have gone cold and have been left unresolved due to a lack of conclusive evidence. Number 6. Stingy Jack Stingy Jack, as Irish Hallow's Eve legend has it, was a town drunk who constantly pulled tricks on others. One day he ran across the devil in a bar and was relentless with his antics. There are many different versions of this story, but the ending is practically the same. The day Jack died, he was not welcomed into heaven by God, nor was he claimed by Satan because of the mockery he had made out of him. 
Stingy Jack was given a burning ember to walk with night after night upon the earth for eternity. He put this ember into a carved turnip to light his way, creating the first jack-o'-lantern. The tradition of jack-o'-lanterns is not entirely known, but most sources say that carving pumpkins was a way to ward off evil spirits, while some say that gutting pumpkins and gourds was an early civilization method of making lanterns. Number 5. Black Cats Many of our Halloween superstitions are deeply rooted in the Middle Ages. For instance, the belief that witches turn into black cats to avoid detection comes from this time period and has led to the fear of black cats even to this day. Black cats are also part of Scottish folklore, known as the Cat Sith, where it had the capabilities of stealing the soul of the dead before gods could claim it. The prejudice against black felines has gotten so bad that in some areas, local animal shelters and the Humane Society no longer allow cats with any shade of black fur to be adopted during the season of Halloween. This is in hopes of protecting them against being killed or sacrificed by certain satanic groups. Number 4. Vandalism By the late 1800s, the tradition of playing pranks on Halloween was well established. Juvenile mischief in the United States and Canada was an annual event. These activities consisted of tipping over outhouses, unhinging doors from their frames, throwing eggs at houses or unsuspecting neighbors passing by, and throwing toilet paper over houses. By the 1920s and 1930s, however, these random acts of disobedience turned much more serious as people's property became vandalized and defaced. In 2004, Los Angeles's mayor, James Hahn, signed a council-backed ordinance to ban silly string in Hollywood on Halloween night. The ordinance calls for a maximum $1,000 fine and or six months in jail for use, possession, sale, or distribution of silly string in Hollywood from 12 a.m. on October 31st to 12 p.m. on November 1st. Number 3. Dressing Up Halloween costumes play an important role in the holiday, both with young and old, and even pets. According to TheAtlantic.com and CSMonitor.com, Americans will spend roughly $350 million a year on dressing up their pets. Additionally, they will spend some $2 billion on candy, $1.1 billion on children's costumes, and $1.4 billion on adult costumes. Yay, that's right. They will spend more on adult costumes than children's, those for which the holiday is generally meant. So, how about pumpkin sales? Believe it or not, the pumpkin industry only nets about $150 million a year in the United States, much less than one would expect. Overall, what's the number one thing that trick-or-treaters get out of Halloween? Diabetes. Or as Wilfred Bromley would say, diabetes. Number 2. Day of the Dead Many people think that Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos, is the Mexican version of Halloween. With its focus on death and somewhat spooky attire, it could easily seem this way to an outsider. Don't let this fool you. The two celebrations actually boast very different perspectives. The holiday is rooted in Catholicism and is still celebrated to honor and remember all holy persons. This feast is known as All Saints Day, immediately followed by All Souls Day. Secularism has influenced this once sacred celebration and turned it into a yearly event. For those in Mexico, Day of the Dead is a way to embrace our ever-impending doom. Number 1. Halloween Town Salem, Massachusetts is the self-proclaimed Halloween capital of the world. The city is littered with shops and stores that cater to witches and warlocks. The town is also home to a witch museum which highlights the Salem witch trials and many other terrifying haunted attractions. Salem on Halloween is an extraordinary experience unlike any other 
people can be seen for blocks lining the streets in every sort of costume imaginable. Many Wiccans have taken up residence in the city and walk around on a daily basis wearing their traditional garb. If Halloween is one of your favorite holidays, then Salem, Massachusetts should be on your bucket list of places to visit during this time. Let's just hope you don't kick the bucket in the process. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.